No rush here for the Woods. A chance to potentially take the lead back. Henningberg tries going behind the back. I believe, I believe it hit his defender's back. Kobe Smith. Whoa! Goes over the fence. The Redwoods get a quick restart. They have the man up for the time being. Shoot the two. Miles Jones shoots the two, cashes in! The challenge is, you know, having some early season success and then taking a three week break. And you combine that with, uh, with Trevor getting injured. Atlas can hold for one. Oh. Baptiste gets clocked. Oh. No flag is messy. Ah. It's a challenge for us to try and, I don't know, um, jumpstart momentum again. To the left with eight inside, denied, five left. A game of keep away now. Kelly throws it up into the air. And the losing streak is over for Redwoods. Our final score, Redwoods 16, Atlas 15. Bend but don't break. Like, let the pain be the fuel to like get ourselves back on track. We are building for something. It's like each game and each moment and each play matters but we're also aiming for something out there that is extremely hard to do. And the requirement is not to go undefeated to do it. The requirement is like, be as good as you possibly can be each and every moment throughout this season. And let's go get this next one. Here we go, hands up. Say, boys. <laughs> Bulls on three, one, two, three. Bulls. Bulls. today because how fitting how fitting I was just wanted to check in and see how things are going things are good man uh, plan is just gonna get some PT in this morning uh, that's probably gonna go home maybe toss some boots on just kick just relax till practice you know I've been pretty blessed like I haven't had too many serious injuries and and I don't even think Tearing this hamstring was too serious, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things. Hamstrings are always tough, especially when you tear it uh, off the bone. For that type of injury, it's usually six to eight weeks. Way ahead of schedule for usually an injury like this, so he heals quick, for sure. He bends, he doesn't break. I bend, I don't break, you feel me? That's built different. Especially with this squad, this is going to be really special. Face off easily won by Baptiste. Playing at Peter Barnes Stadium. Trevor Baptiste continuing his dominance on the face offs. <laughs> Yo, that's actually pretty sick. It was just a little real for the game this weekend. Water Dogs, the hottest team in the league, taking on Atlas. In second place in the most recent table, coming into the weekend, just a game behind the Whip Snakes. Is this the year Atlas can be that team, maybe that breaks through? I think they're the most complete team in the PLL, and they're headlined by Trevor Baptiste. He's the best player in the league right now. He wins at 70% at the strike, and he fuels an offense that's led by Jeff's team.
Denver 15 apiece. Water Dogs, Atlas going to overtime. Finally gets it. That's a tough angle shot for the game winner. On the field where he played his college lacrosse. Anna comes back to Denver and gets the winner for the Dogs. So we're one and two, um, you know, in this second half of the season, um, coming off another one goal loss um, this past weekend to the Water Dogs, and you know, we we dwelled on that game for a couple days this week. I think coming into this week, I think it's a huge momentum week, you know, as we go towards the end of the season. You know, the challenges get no easier from here, um, and this week. It's certainly not an easy challenge. You, know, you never want to lose multiple games in a row. I think it is a critically important game for our uh, team confidence and belief that we can uh, can, can play and, and beat anybody in the league. And you know, to go up against the number one team in the league and two-time champs, um, it would be a huge, huge momentum push for us moving forward to, to go get this one, and I think we will. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Play for the guy next to you. Let's get this train rolling right from the get-go. Let's go. Bulls on three. One, two, three. Bulls. Let's fucking go. Cursed. He can shoot from distance. Instead, gets it to Rambo. He can shoot from up close. Man, the Whipsnakes are getting a lot of great looks, Q. Rambo and Durkin, two really physical players. Up front, Cole Carlson. Batiste inside. He scores. OK. Shoot scores. From his knees. Smith is going to have to let it go. Hitched. That's not going to help. Now with his left, he scores, though. Rambo, got a step, that's all he needs. Quick pass at goal. We bet! Don't fucking break, man! Don't break! Because this is defining this moment of how you respond when you get your ass kicked for 24 minutes. Are you gonna come out and fucking play like it means everything? When you might not close the gap, put it on the line. Put it on the fucking line. All right? I'm not pissed, it's just like we put too much into this. Yeah. Too much. So sell the fuck out. You sub, sub like it's your last fucking sub. You know what I mean? Everything is important. And we're getting to the time of the season where everything is important. So sell out. We got plenty of fresh minis. They couldn't be more fresh. They're looking at me like, holy shit, we haven't been on the field. Sell out. If you deep minis sell out, we need to put one of these old guys down there, we will. But let's turn it around, man. Let's turn it around. Let's play better lacrosse one play at a time. A champion isn't made by just winning all the time. A champion is the one that gets fucking beat the fuck down. Gets fucking beat, kicked, smoked, and gets the fuck back up and does it again. And competes again. And says, I will not fucking stop for myself and the guy next to us. So I, wanna, I think we all got to challenge each other to just be a little bit better and to be ready for the challenge. Because I'm here to fucking compete. Let's fucking compete, boys. Let's fucking be about it. Let's go. Bulls on three. One, two, three. Bulls. Bulls.